Greetings, I'm Dr. McNasty. As promised, I'm about to present the part two of ranking every original Scooby-Doo Where Are You monster slash villain slash ghost. I do apologize, even though this was honestly the funniest comment I've ever read posted below me, as you can see, uh, for the uh, gratuitous Chan Clan ramblings, but come on. We got a shout out to Chan Clan, right? We gotta show a little bit of love. A little bit of love. But as promised, here's a continuation of our conversation and the ranking. Roll the tape. <laughs> I I will say a lot of these monsters don't need the adjective ghost added onto them. Right, I, that's, for some reason they are. What do you call it freaking we have like a snow monster ghost. It could have just been a snow monster. To be dude, my favorite I, I is guess. the the trope of the ghost dinosaur, which gladly like you know the T-Rex ghost. Why? Oh yeah. What unfinished business does a fucking dinosaur have? <laughs> you're right, you're right. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. It's like, I didn't what eat... What is keeping this, this dinosaur from passing on? <laughs> John Hammond still lives, I guess. I don't know. But our next monster, I'm just going to call it monster because it's the caveman. This, you know, that dude. Yeah, okay. Caveman. Yeah. The caveman. You know, I actually do... Like the caveman. Because it reminds me of an Unsolved Mysteries episode I, I saw once where, like, an actual caveman did, like, he was found. And, like, he was in, held in, like, a freak show. And, like, he, apparently he went missing or something. But, I don't know. I like I, li I like the caveman. But, at the same time, he is kind of goofy. It's literally Encino Man Scooby-Doo edition. What's your opinions? I, I will say that... I, I think a lot of thought went into the caveman. Like, this is the most that I, I thought, like, this is a really elaborate Scooby-Doo villain. This man built a costume with ice, froze it, <laughs> pushed it in the ocean, and it was just like, oh, I hope someone finds this. And then, once it was found, defrosted the outfit, and it was just like, okay, that, got, that caveman came to life. You know what? That's elaborate ass shit. You know what? It, but but it, it, in in the end, it still worked at least for a little while. And also, he, yeah, you know, he's giving me Herculoid's realness, and I'm cool with that. Like he looks like a Herculoid's knockoff character, and if like everybody loves Herculoid's, even though that was literally just Lost in Space, but minus the Lost and in, in Space. But yeah, Caveman. And this all was to steal a uh, device to talk to dolphins. Uh, uh, I, I don't. Mm, that's a lame motive. That's a really lame motive. <laughs> like uh, they're both scientists. <laughs> they were just like, yeah. Would you call it that? Dude's got a really cool invention over there. I'm gonna not... steal his shit. No. By posing as a caveman. No. The fact off. that he's an educated man, kind of like if this was like some bumfuck Egypt tweaker like trying to like I don't know like counterfeit some banknotes or something like I would give this a pass but the fact that it's an educated man's like you know what I'm gonna scare them with evolution like I don't I don't know man I, I, I'm, I'm thinking at least they're they're at least trying they're they're, they're at least trying which is uh, pretty much the mid tier but like I, I was I was wanting senpai notice of you but at the same time like uh, where, where do you feel that it's the most comfortable for the beloved caveman. That's. I think that's right. I think that's right. Uh, like you're trying. Like, it's not as elaborate as like I've seen other uh, Scooby Doo villains, but it's elaborate enough. For a second, you thought this was real, and then you're just like, "Oh, wait a minute." Did you call it? This doesn't make sense. You you almost got me. Is what where I'm hitting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? I want to believe in caveman, and that's that's good enough. Uh, that, that's good. <laughs> oh god, I forgot this robot's name. It's something stupid like Charlie the Robot or something. What is its name? Yeah, it's Charlie the Robot. Oh, you know, Charlie the Robot. Okay. 
All right, th I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my notes. Initially, this was the episode that kind of freaked me out too, especially when it's like it's all quiet. They're like, "Wow, this this theme park's abandoned, even though it's lit up." Because I remember this episode very vividly, staying up way past late the 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 pre Adult Swim era. And I remember this, but also it was the least. It was the one time it wasn't really anything. It, it was just like the least satisfying monster reveal. It was like, no, it was, it's just a fucking robot. And it was like, seriously? You, you gave us a fucking goosebump reveal? The kids were robots all along? I you know? Throw... <laughs> yeah, I want to throw in the small tidbit that the the guy who made the robot goes like, there's no one at the park. What are you... You kids are crazy. So he gaslights them. And, yeah, he just gaslights them straight up. <laughs> Uh, and you... then would you call it friggin' it's just because like his wife is just like no do you call it I don't like the automation of the park like having the, the park autom automated and everything and so I sabotaged a robot <laughs> and that was it <laughs> What? Uh, but first of all I guess his wife's an engineer and second of all like it's such a wacky plot, man. Like it's so it's so dumb. I'm so, like first <laughs> first of all, like all right, theoretically this is 1970s. And apparently there's just anatomatons fucking walking around. Like first of all, where do these kids keep finding scientists and shit from? Like is fucking Coolsville just like man. a mecca of like is it worse than Gotham? Is it just filled <laughs> with every doctor and fucking like corrupt like politician or some shit like what the fuck is going on in Coolsville do you call I I just love it to the sense of like there's some people who are building giant robots for these plots and we're gonna get there we're gonna get there <laughs> yeah oh my god uh because there is is what in in what uh would you call it like Scooby-Doo where are you but it's just like people who have like literally like super genius level like plans and they're just like yeah I, I just wanted to scare off kids off my land yeah it's always like the most like blue collar fucking shit too I don't oh yeah I will say I completely agree with, agree with the dude's wife with Jacob friggin we, we do not need Jacob self checkout Dude, at the carnival. Dude, this was pre-Skynet. She knew what she was spitting. That's all I'm saying. Like, this is definitely yeah. pre-Skynet. She knew what it was going to do. And you know what? I don't like Charlie. So, and I don't... Dude, not only that, dude, it is straight goofing. Like, I'm sorry. Like, not unless you have any, like, actual oh. valid defense, it will stay as straight goofing. Like, it's not It's not worth my time. We are, we're, are we are we going goofy? Goofing or are we going trash? Oh! Oh! Oh, all right. We're going spicy with this one. Yeah. No, if you're willing to go trash, <laughs> I'm willing. Because he's not doing anything. He's yeah, not he, he's doing he's anything. not even a monster. He's just a he's just yeah. a not even a man. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck Charlie the robot, and I hope to God they never bring him back for any renditions. But uh, we do have a next. The next one coming up is kind of a classic. He's on a lot of merch. H his name is literally, you know, we say it all the time in today's, you know, language, the creeper. Uh, uh, so, do you call it, like, this is a, uh, bank robber. Okay. Who, uh, do you call it, Luke, is just a monster. That's, that's it. Like, there is no complicated lore behind the creeper. It is just, like, a guy who says his name, like, like a Pokemon. Yeah, and creeper! Late, yeah. Which they find out later that he's actually saying paper, paper. <laughs> oh my god! Because they're holding a photograph of him robbing the bank as his actual self and not in the costume. <laughs> no, trash. Trash. Yeah. That that's not even like it's <laughs> that's not like no. I'd rather be Don Knotts. It, that's not even like they wasted twenty five minutes of our times as children with that storyline for real. 
freaking is, they find out it's an infra infrared photograph. Like Velma lights up a, a match, and would you call it? It's the uh, would you call it the uh, bank owner stealing money uh, out of his own bank? It's embezzling. The creeper was an embezzler. Yep. He stole his own yep. shit. Dude, that's so dumb. Yeah, I'm keeping him in trash. That's not. That didn't help any. Yeah. <laughs> that that doesn't help any. All right, I'm just gonna pick a random one. You know. Uh, all right, red beard, red beard. Okay. Yeah. Let me pitch to you. Did you call it? red beard has a ship? All has right. A crew of pirates. Do you call it friggin' like? And is actively like have within this whole ship and everything has a ghost sword that like flies around that is not explained. Okay. I'm Just listening. A remote, remote control, like friggin' like ghost sword. His his plot is uh, would you call it like stealing stealing boats and stuff? But would you call it like from all accounts, this could just be like actual Redbeard. So, so this is just a pirate, like a legitimate yeah. fucking threat. Truly, the fact that he has actual lackeys to back this up is is just like it doesn't matter if this is a dude in the mask. He is actually just doing this. Hmm. All right. All right. It, uh... At least he's an actual legit criminal that isn't... He's not a blue-collar criminal, because, you know, I, I assume he's taken lives. Because stealing boats, you oh, know, yeah. not everybody's going to willingly give up either cargo or their vessel. So he, he's definitely got some kills on him, unlike the, the other mm -hmm. previous five delinquents. I, I want to put him at Epic Monster, but my heart wants to say Senpai notices you, but what, what do you feel about it? You, you know, you... you you, you gave a pretty good presentation of it, which means, most likely, you know, wh how do you feel? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Uh -oh. When I when I had done done a dry, dry run on, on my end, I qualified it in in the way of, do they actually try to try to kill any member in like Mystery Inc. for S? <laughs> That is. I, I noticed that. that is my, I, yeah. I, I noticed that was your S tier. It was like we'll fucking kill you, and I'm like, you know what? Exactly. Uh, I was just going on aesthetics and who was vibing, but you know, it, I will keep that in account. Like, you know, honestly, I don't know. I think Redbeard's just a legitimate fucking pirate in all seriousness. Yeah. So, do you call it? I will put forth. That would you call it the the most that we see in the episode is like he threatens Shaggy and Scooby like yeah make me make me a meal or I'm going to make make you walk the plank and then would you call it freaking um, they get get out of that by making a meal of bubble soup in which they're just like uh would you call it ghost like cobwebs soap. And uh, they they like water, right, Scoob? Yeah. yeah. And so would you call it free? <laughs> I don't know why they think this is a good idea to feed it's this not. man like bubble soup. Yeah. So, wait, it actually bubbles. It what? Make... Wait. Wait. How did they? Get... I, so, I call it bubble soup because they they get out of it by like drinking the soup and then blowing bubbles and then escaping out of the, the ship with the bubbles. Uh, I was rooting for him, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> I was rooting for this episode. It's like the plausibility of this, but uh, you know what? I'm going to put a mess in by notices you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. I don't have a name card for him, but it's just... I'm going to call him Generic Dracula. Um, yeah, that's right. I, I don't remember a Dracula episode. I'm just going to be real, man. I don't remember a Dracula episode. Other than, like, okay. Vincent Van Gogh so, is the closest thing I know to a Dracula. Or, like, the god-awful, like, weird Australian vampire one. Alright. So, let me... 
create somewhat of a conundrum for you. Okay. This Dracula is three other monsters. I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm following the universal rule, and if I had to guess, a uh, fortune teller, witch, Wolfman? No. Ah, okay. Wolfman, yes. Okay. So he's fortune teller, Wolfman, and Frankenstein's monster, as well as Dragon. He's ambitious. Yeah, would you call it free and there? There was a treasure in a uh, castle. Okay. And he wanted to scare people people off. Uh, would you call it? He's a convicted uh, jewel thief named the actor. And I'm so glad you said that instead uh, of what I thought you were going to say. Yeah. And <laughs> and so he dresses up as, as the, the gypsy to say, like, hey, you shouldn't go near that castle over there. And then would you call it? They go like, why not? Would you call it? We're Mystery Incorporated. We're gonna investigate anything that's suspicious. So let's go over to that castle over there. And so he shows up as uh, would you call it Frankenstein's monster in places. He shows up as the Wolfman. He shows up as Dracula. And uh, would you call it like chases them around a bit. Uh, and they only ca catch him because like uh, he goes through a shoot shoot in the in the uh one of the coffins in the castle okay and would you call it like he um takes a little bit of the tapestry with him because they try to trap him with it and then when they go back to the gypsy he still has the tapestry with him and they just go like hey only Dra dracula had that tapestry oh Wait, so he was pulling a Don Knotts? Yep. He is, he's, uh, would you call it, like, four monsters at once. Yeah, because I remember Don Knotts played, like, everybody in a town once on, like, a Scooby movie. And, like, everybody they spoke to was just Don Knotts either in drag or playing a different character. So, uh, okay. I, I see what they did there, but... Also, uh, weirdly enough, uh, Dick Van Dyke has a similar gimmick in which he, he goes he tries to convince everyone that uh, all of his relatives work at this theme, theme park. He would do that though. Yeah. And then they finally just like go like, Dick Van Dyke. He was like, alright my crew got scared off and I'm the only one running this like uh, theme park anymore. A lot of celebrities just going like I can be 20 people ah oh, man dude I, I've noticed there is a there is an overarching <laughs> theme of repeating fucking storylines though and we're already starting to yeah. do that yeah <sighs> call it we got a second were werewolf in, in this list <laughs> oh great oh I'm looking at it that's 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 awful but, uh, you know, Dracula, he's yeah. not scary. He's not believable. Uh, but... Do you call it... Thelma literally says shut up when he's giving his feel. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Trash. I'm putting Dracula in trash. He's not good. Like, he's not even cool. So, just like Dracula, we got do Frankenstein's monster. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so do you want to... Break the others off vibes because, as you call it, like literally just just the same dude. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, Frankenstein's monster. I'll, I'll at least put that in straight goofing because, like, at least he's got to wear like I don't know lifts. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> he puts the same amount of effort in every costume, I guess. And as for Gypsy Woman, trash. Just like okay. I. I. I'm afraid to even say that counts. <laughs> yeah, that you you, you literally you literally just put on a you, you put on a shawl and some earrings and called it a day. Like that's not that's not anything really. All right. Unfortunately, that's all the juicy content we have for you guys today. I think we got maybe seven monsters in and not the fifteen we promised, but. Due to work scheduling and I'm a pretty busy man, that's all we have for this week. 
To get more monsters and more ranking between me and Majin A Man, check us out next week and to better be notified, make sure to, uh, well, subscribe and hit that, uh, like and all that other fun shit to, uh, you know, the boom, look, look at that little cool icon on the bottom. But, and as for you sticklers who are worried about my ranking of, uh, that man's variant of the, uh, Wolfman, the man in question being the actor, or whatever the fuck his name is, yeah. He, he's trash. Wolfman is trash. I, we didn't have time to even go through it, and I went through literally the two hours of footage that I'm having to edit through, and, uh, yeah, we never once actually ranked that Wolfman. I think I just noticed that I didn't place him somewhere and just threw him in the trash bin. I'm not kidding. By the way, for everybody following at home, I have the ranking right here where we're standing at the current amount of monsters we have. At the highest tier for at Classic or Senpai notices you, we have the Ghost of Red Beard. At the tier of They Tried, or Bruh. just no tier at all according to the screen, we have the Caveman. At D tier, straight goofing, we have, well, the Ape Man Franken and Frankenstein, Ape Man covered in the previous episode. At F or Trash tier, we have the Black Knight Ghost, Charlie the Robot, the Creeper, the Actors Dracula, and the Actors Gypsy. But, uh, yeah. On that note, I'm Dr. McNasty, and, uh, it's been swell, but the swelling's gone down. Bye!